Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about episode four of The One to Live, and man, what an episode. I can't wait to talk about it. So I don't know how you feel, but this could easily be the best hour of television I've ever seen. This is the best Walking Dead show episode. Like from the main show, all the spinoffs. This is this is my favorite episode. I consider it the best episode of The Walking Dead. Before this, I thought one of the best hours of TV I had ever seen was episode four of The Last of Us. And to me, this trumps that. This was incredible. And I hope that Denai Guerrero wins an award for the writing of this episode. It was just it was just so, so very good. I, I can't even put it into words how good I think it is. I've I've just watched it the second time and um yeah, it's just a lot. But really, even more so than I was before going into this episode, I'm really kinda kinda fearful for how this is gonna turn out for our heroes and, and how the show's gonna turn out, but we'll get into that. Let's uh, let's talk about this episode first, though. So the episode picks up right where episode three left off, and they're in the helicopter. They're kind of giving each other the stink eye. Rick's trying to trying to come across as like he really believes what he said. Michonne, of course, sees right through it, and you know we see her looking out the window in the previous episode. But it's neat in this one we actually get to see just how low the helicopter was flying, and we see them go into the water. So you know it it's not as far fetched as we thought last. You know last. At the end of last episode, it was almost laughable that they would survive, but we see just how low they were flying and, and close to the water. So it, it's, it's a lot, it's, it's believable. It's actually, well, it's a lot more believable. We'll say that. So Rick and Michonne, they, they crawl out of this lake that they landed in and they, they find themselves at this research type place. It's kind of like a, like a community where people thought they could find solutions to the earth's problems. That's kind of what I'm getting, you know, that's kind of what I got from it. So Rick and Michelle make it into this facility and it's the room they go into is an apartment uh, for some, one of the researchers, uh, I would guess. And they're trying to just kind of get an idea of where this is that they are. Rick goes to look around. So does Michonne. Michonne finds uh, a closet and she starts changing clothes and she's, you know, looking for weapons and they, um, Rick is trying to find a way to, to really get back to the CRM right now. You know, he realizes he doesn't have his uh, communicator in, uh, he sees Michonne's and he wants to, he wants to call them to come pick him up because he is just so scared. And this leads to a massive argument between Rick and Michonne. At this point, I really feel like Michonne can't see past Rick's trauma. Rick has so much trauma from all the things that he's been through, the, just the breaking down. He just they have broken him down so much, and he she she's just so angry with the this person that she found. It's not who she expected to find. And while they're having this argument, she lets it slip because she says uh, children instead of Judith. She slips that he that's not that's really not how she wanted to tell Rick, but um, it's good that it came out. This only leads to more arguing between the two because Michonne thought that Rick hearing this would make him want to go with her because she wants him to, she wants him to come home. She wants Rick to be Rick. And I think everyone in the, everyone in the community thought that he would say, Hey, I have a kid. Let's go back. I have a, I have a son that I didn't know about. Let's go back. But I want to give a shout out to Matt M seven Oh Oh one in the community. Cause he is the only one that I saw in the comments that said, what if this makes Rick want to stay even more? And I hadn't thought about that before, but it makes a lot of sense because Rick is really trying to sacrifice himself to keep his family safe. That's Michonne, RJ, that now that he knows about Judith and everyone back at Alexandria. So uh, good job, Matt. Good job. But even though Michonne is still very mad at Rick, they're able to calm down and start talking. And Rick lets her know about Jadis. He lets her know that that's how he got there, that Jadis found him and brought him there that um he he was almost dead and i mean and that's she because michelle never knew any of this so this is how this is she let he, he lets her know that this is how we got to the crm and that um just how afraid he is i mean she's able to see it in in this not very much rick rick that she's talking to and she just wants to fight back and he's telling her you know he, he can't i mean look they beat me a long time ago look at me and this version of rick is so beaten down 
so traumatized that when he tells Michonne that that Jadis is, she tells he tells Michonne about Jadis's file that she made and that they will be able to find out who they are and that Jadis did that because he thinks she thinks together they can do anything. And Michonne says, we can, don't you believe that? And Rick pauses. And that is just because Rick is, he's so broken. We find out later in the episode just where this comes from. But Michonne is, she still can't see this traumatized Rick. I mean, she sees him, but she doesn't understand where it's coming from just yet. So she's, she gets mad again. And Rick just wants her to get away. He just wants her to live. Michonne wants to try to make a plan to go back and fight from the inside. And Rick just can't do it. He is just so, I keep saying the word traumatized, but that, that's, that seems like the right word, you know. He's been gone so long, and, you know, we find out later that he had to just let them go and kind of die inside. And the, when the sun comes up, they're able, they're, they can see that the helicopter they ran crashed, and that is their out. That really is, at least is right now, is where we are in this episode, where we are in the series, they are free right now because there is no escape for the living. They will be, I mean, it's very likely they're dead. So, and the CRM would, would see that. And, you know, I think they would let them just let it go. But Rick is not willing to leave just yet because he is just still so scared of what, what could happen to the, to Michonne and to everyone back home. And this really makes Michonne mad. So she says, you know what? I, I was told, I, I was told I should know when to go. I know when to go. I'm leaving. And she arms herself and, and storms out of the room and, and leaves Rick there. And she goes, but she pauses because she can't, you know, she, despite what she said, she can't make herself leave Rick. And, and Rick, we see at the same time, we see Rick struggling not to run after her, which he, you know, he ultimately does around the same time that a CRM helicopter shows up to blow up the evidence that they were ever there. So now they are really in the clear as of right now. The explosion of the CRM helicopter blowing up the crashed helicopter causes the buildings that are in to become unstable and they start to come down. Rick and Michonne have to fight their way together to get past some uh, walkers that are freed during the explosion. And uh, they're able to bond somewhat and they end up getting back to their apartment and uh, have some quality adult time together. After they're able to um, reconnect, if you will, um, they, they talk some about home and they talk about some of the stuff that Michonne's been through. She talks about the ex and I'm really glad that they did that because it was, that was one of the things I wanted Rick to know about. And there's, there's more, you know, but, um, I'm, maybe they'll be able to talk about it later on. And it's after, it's about this point where Michonne is able to get Rick to open up. He, he finally breaks down and, and tells her that he just, you know, he lost so much that he, he first, what kept him alive was dreaming of Carl. And then he, he lost the ability to see Carl like we talked about earlier. And then he started dreaming of Michonne and it, after a while, it constantly being defeated and he, he lost Michonne. He, he lost the ability to dream of Michonne. He just couldn't see them anymore. And he, he says that I believe in, in episode one, when he's throwing away his phones and everything like that, that's when he let, let just let go and had to just accept that this is his life now. And so he, he's telling Michonne all of this. And I got to tell you, I cried in this moment right here when he was talking about letting, you know, having the dreams of, of Carl and, and of Michonne. And that's good writing because in this, in this episode, I laughed, I smiled, I cried. And if you can do all of that in, the, in like over 40 minutes, just from the story, that's, that's amazing writing. And I, I hope Denai Guerrero wins an award for her writing and uh, her, because I think she did everything in this episode and. I hope she deserves to win an award, and Andrew Lincoln's acting was just, I, I know I've said it before, but this episode was just incredible, it was just all the way around. And Michonne is finally able to see the trauma, that, that, this, is, that this is still Rick, that he's just been heavily traumatized. And uh, she gives him a phone <laughs> with uh, Carl on it. She, she had the artist do one of Carl. She was able to see Carl and... Uh, she gives this to Rick, and I think this is the turning point because Rick snaps out of his, almost like instantly snaps out of his funk. She convinces him to come back home because before when the building was coming down, she said, we're not going anywhere until we decide what we're doing. And she, this is when she breaks Rick out of this funk, and then they leave. So Rick and Michonne, they fight their way out of this crumbling, falling down building, and they, they find a car. It just happens to be an electric truck. And it has plenty of uh, 
gas so they can get all the way home, they say. And uh, we finally see Rick kind of like, um, just that look on his face, you know, that it, it is Rick. Rick, I think from this point right here, Rick is back, depending on what happens the rest of the way through, because I am really afraid for Rick and Michonne as we go forward, because they're getting away right now, and we still have two more episodes. And we know that there is that chase with Jadis, and I am afraid right now that Michonne may die in the last two episodes. I don't want it to happen, but when when do we get a happy ending in The Walking Dead? It never happens. We never see our characters just get to be happy. Whenever we think they're going to be, something terrible happens. And we still have two episodes left. But overall, overall, this was just so, so good. I mean, it was emotional, you know, for people who love the show and love these characters. It was is it was really an emotional roller coaster because you see them fighting at first and you don't fully understand Rick. But as the episode goes on, you're able to uh, Michonne's able to break through and you're able to see just how broken Rick is and, and her be able to reach through and, and kind of pull him out of that because he didn't want to lose her. And he was so afraid to lose her that he was going to lose her just to keep her alive. And Michonne was able to, to pull him through that. And yeah, it was just, it was just so good. That's all, really all I can say is, uh, there was a very emotional episode and I, I really enjoyed seeing mom and dad back together. Uh, but now I want to know what you thought. Let me know in the comments. What did you think of this episode? What did you think of everything that went down? Do you think Rick and Michonne are both safe going forward, even with two episodes left? Let me know all of that. If you enjoyed the video and you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my Walking Dead content, consider hitting the sub button. If you want to watch more of my Once You Live content, click on the box on the left and that'll take you to my playlist. Click the box on the right and that'll take you to my most recent upload. And guys, I will see you in the next video.